Okay, welcome to another Lunar Flight video. All right, so in the last video that I did, we did a data survey mission. So let's try something different in this one. So once again, I'm gonna come over here to the missions options in this uh, left panel over here. And I think I wanna try a lost cargo mission this time. So if, again, if I cycle through, we have, it uh, looks like six missions that we can choose from. First couple of them are target uh, or transport, and then three, is a, a data survey, which is what we did last time. So this time I'm going to choose Lost Cargo and I'll just pick the first one, mission number four. So I'll hit accept for that. And now, so we need to locate some Lost Cargo that's located somewhere to the south and to the west of Alpha. And if we do that, we get $15,000 and we get 2,000 pilot points. So I'm gonna come over here to the cargo, and one of the first things I wanna do is to make sure that the transponder is turned on. Uh, the, you have these LEDs here above, like to the right of your fuel, and as you get closer to the, uh, to the lost cargo, the LEDs will start beeping at you, and that's about the only indication that you have uh, for helping to locate. Again, we know the general vicinity by going to missions, and again, we know it's southwest of Alpha, but that still covers a pretty large area. Sometimes it can be a bit tricky to find the modules, but I've gotten pretty reasonable at it. So let me just check one more time, southwest of Alpha. So we're currently landed at Alpha, so the cargo should be, you know, to the south and to the west. So somewhere here. And then other than that, we'll just use the transponder to help us locate where it's at. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're, we're all fueled up. We have extra fuel modules, so we're ready to go. Once again, I will use the right trigger, I think is what this is, to get up off the, get up off the pad. And then I'm, I think I'm facing straight south. So I'm gonna put in just a bit of right translation so I can get uh, facing in the direction that I believe the cargo is in. And then once again, um, I can either put in forward translation by pushing uh, forward on the left stick, but it's a bit, which is easier to do, especially if you're not familiar with the game, but it's usually probably a bit more efficient to tip the vessel forward, which you do using the right stick. Go to about 40 degrees or so and give yourself some acceleration. And what I find is the, the cargo modules, the lost cargo look visually on the map they look like that so i think that actually might be the cargo right there so i definitely want to not go too far and i'm just going to let the vessel uh, get near that spot that i see and and i wouldn't have seen that if i hadn't you know pitched the vessel over now that might not be where it's at but that looks exactly like what the car what the lost cargo looks like but since I have the transponder on, let me watch my vertical acceleration. Uh, I'm in fact, you can see that blue LED uh, lighting up. So this one was actually really easy to find. Sometimes they're a lot trickier than that. So I'm gonna start taking out some of that forward translation so I don't go too far forward. And just let the vessel kind of descend on its own. And when we get close enough to the module, in fact, I would say we're close enough now, so I'm gonna go ahead and, well, usually when, it, usually when I've located the cargo, I go ahead and turn off the transponder because I don't want to listen to it beeping. But for the sake of this video, I'll go ahead and leave it on. Now, obviously, we can't actually see where it's at, but as we get closer and closer, the transponder, you know, it's almost like that hot warm cold game that you might have played as a kid as you get closer and closer you know it beeps faster and faster so i i'm not sure how like an orbiter you know you can have external camera views i don't know how to do that in this game so I th i'm thinking i passed over the module so I'm still just kind of hovering a few feet, a uh, few meters there. There's this over there on the right. So I'm just hovering a few meters up off the ground. I don't know how close you have to be to it to be able to acquire it. I'm just trying to keep all my movements fairly.
fairly small, so I don't, you know, put in too much movement in one direction. But I just want to translate over to where that module's at. I'm probably close enough now, but I'll see how close. In fact, let me just see if I can touch down here and still acquire it. Should be able to touch down now. There we are. So the way you acquire it is you go to cargo and click acquire, but uh, there's no acquire option here, so I'm not close enough. So let me hover back up and just move a bit closer. And take out that translation, touch back down. I think I got my vessel landed on um, like the side of a rock. So I'm going to turn transponder off. And okay, I guess I'm actually still not close enough to it. Would have thought I was. Let's just hop up and get a bit closer yet. Eesh. Okay, so we should be close enough now, I would think. Um, all right, what am I forgetting here? <laughs> Missions. S Southwest of Alpha. I, I know I'm close enough by now. I can't hardly get any closer to it. Okay, and now I have it. Now I'll recover. I guess I had to just be a bit closer yet. So that uh, has this like a little robotic arm, goes out, grabs the module, pulls it back in, and now we have to return it. We can't just return it anywhere. We have to pay attention to where the cargo is supposed to go. In this case, it needs to go to Delta. So I'll go to Map, and <clears throat> I want to go to uh, so make sure I select Delta on the map and, and then put it onto the navigation. And now I need to go this way. I can tell because that little green circle is right there. Um, now that we have cargo, our vessel's a lot heavier. So when you do these kinds of missions, you'll notice that when you pick up the cargo, it takes a lot more thrust to get you up off the ground. I can feel it. It probably doesn't uh, show up in the video playback, like what I'm doing, obviously, but you can feel it uh, when, you're, when you're controlling the vessel. So I'm just going to yaw a bit to the right because I want to get yawed over to where that like floating green circle is at because I know that's where Delta is located. And now I just want to make sure I translate up high enough so that I don't crash into any mountains that are right in front of me because um, I have done that before I get a bit too aggressive. I'll start, you know, pitching the vessel forward and I'll start, you know, translating forward really fast and then I don't have enough time to clear the hill that's right in front of me. Um, again, Delta's quite close, so I don't want to move too quickly because then, you know, that's just a lot more movement that I have to take back out. If I were going all the way from one side of the map <clears throat> to the other, I'd put in maybe as much as like 10 or 15 meters a second uh, in terms of my velocity. But now my V-rate, you know, it's over two meters per second. Uh, so that means I'm still climbing. And I believe, yeah, right down there is gonna be Delta. So I don't really wanna climb anymore because I'm gonna clear this hill. So I just kinda wanna hop up over it and go down and, and uh, drop off this cargo. You can see the velocity vector coming down. And there are other maps that you can utilize, like over here. Um, some of these, I don't quite, they don't necessarily show me the view that I would prefer to see. Uh, like, I think usually the one that I like kind of the best is the top view, because this helps me with my landings. I do like this vertical camera, or whatever this V stands for, but I kind of wish it would stay locked in on the base. Rather, it seems to stay locked in on the velocity vector, which could have its purpose, but for my brain, it would be a bit easier for me if I could keep it locked on the base and then the velocity vector itself would move rather than it's locked on the velocity vector and the base moves around. Um, and then there's the C camera.
which is exactly what I was just talking about. I feel stupid now. I'm still learning this game. Literally, that is exactly what I was describing. <laughs> and then there's the M camera, which is just another map, which is redundant, obviously. That is literally what I was describing. Stay locked on the base and the velocity vector moves with respect to the base instead of the other way around. Anyway, so anyway, you can see that the on the nav point camera there on the bottom right, um, you know that's where I'm that's where I'm trying to go. And as I get closer, I'm going to start taking out some of that forward velocity because I find that you know sometimes you can arrive and the velocity sneaks up on you and you're going a lot faster than you realized and you just blow right past it and crash into the tower on the other side or something like that. So once you drop a little 500 fuel, you get that little beeping sound, but we're fine. We're right next to the base right now. I'm gonna start taking out pretty much all of my forward velocity. And I was just getting an alarm there letting me know that I'm on a, you know, my velocities are too high basically. So this is the point where I prefer to have the uh, the top-down camera. But you can also see right like below my pilot's feet, I pretty much have that view. And again, if I don't have to be perfectly lined up with those circles, so I'm just going to land kind of off-center here, and it's fine. And now I'm going to go into cargo and then unload the cargo. And then I'll get my like reward money, my mission money, my experience, that kind of stuff. And there we have it. And no, I don't want to save the replay. Apparently I got another uh, achievement of some sort. But I will go back to the shop. Let me close this out. And refuel my vessel. And let's go ahead and see if we can afford any upgrades now. Because I've completed a couple missions. I now have $37,000. So let's see if we can get a better stabilizer, maybe. And that's 40,000. I don't have that. And I don't know how much experience I have. It's here somewhere, but I don't see it. And do we have the maximum RCS upgrades? So it looks like everything at this point costs uh, 40,000. So I need to complete um, probably one more mission will get me there. And how much experience do I have? I guess that's over here. Okay. 43,767, so let's look again here, just out of curiosity. So if I want to get the third level I need, it looks like I need 32,000 experience, which I have, so I just need a little bit more money. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for this mission, and I'll go ahead and do one more of these where we just do a, a transport mission. Um, I do think those are the easiest of the three. Um, but uh, just to kind of round it out, we'll, we will do the third type of mission as well. I will see you in the next video.